Hey everybody, and welcome back to the second channel. I have a whole lot of signing to do today, and I came up with this new video idea to do while I'm signing, and it's called a Q&A video, a question and answer. And I think it's a really great video concept. No one has ever done it before, and uh, I'm happy to pioneer this new genre. And for this video, I'm gonna get the questions from Instagram. And Q's requested. Before going on the road last, I put together a tour edition of the Anchor EP, which ended up being kind of a best of album. And it's all my favorite songs from the last 10 years that I've done in like the solo guitar genre. And I couldn't be more proud of this album. And we had it remastered and remastered for vinyl. And it's on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere you can find music. And we're also doing CDs, t-shirts, and vinyls this time around. And what's really cool about these vinyls as well is that they're colored vinyl, but in such a way where every single one is unique. See, is totally different. And I think that's super rad. So today I'm going to be signing the first run of the vinyls, which is 200. And I'm also gonna be signing the first run of the CDs. I don't remember how many of those there are. So links in the description to all of that if you're interested. All right, first one signed. I guess you have a 0.5% chance of getting that one. When you say you love wheat, don't lie, you love corn. All right, first question from It Might Be Patrick. What's your favorite song to play live? I think my favorite song to play live uh, from my solo set, and there's really only a few to choose from because I don't play live very often. Um, and when I do, it's on the tours with Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers, so I have a pretty short set. I think I play four songs, but I'd probably say that my favorite is Rain because <laughs> it is by far the easiest uh, to play and uh, that makes me enjoy it maybe a little bit more um, that I can kind of just relax a bit because um, I'm I, uh, not very well practiced <laughs> with all my songs. I kind of, once, once I record a song and I record a video for it, I just move on to the next one and right before I go on tour, I have to kind of cram a lot of practice in to make sure I remember the songs I'm playing. And with Rain, uh, it's just, a much simpler song, so I can just kind of relax there. And But it does rely really heavily on delay. And when I was recently in Toronto, I played Buffer Festival, I played a one song set. And I got on stage and my monitors weren't on and my amp was not super close to me, so I couldn't hear the delay. I could only hear my notes. Um, coming straight from the guitar, and uh, I kind of just had to wing it and hope that the audience was hearing, you know, the other half of the song that I wasn't. But I think it went okay, or at least if it did go horrible, people uh, didn't didn't tell me that it went horrible. When you fancy corn beef, sometimes you just need corn. I have a horrible signature. You think at this point I'd really have writing my name down uh, by now, but turns out I don't. Boy, I am <laughs> Jeremy asks, are you going to do any more Sunday Uke groups? Um, we do have some pretty big plans um, to take Sunday Uke group to an even more ridiculous level, but it does depend on a few outside um, people and companies um, putting a budget behind it. So hopefully, but, uh, or, or maybe if that doesn't go through, it'll just be a long while until we do another one, but I do plan on doing it, absolutely. Corn. Who drew the Anchor album cover? Um, this was actually painted by my Aunt Sue, and she let me use it as an album cover, so thank you, Sue. Sometimes you just need corn. And the other side is a photo taken by my friend Matt Young um, quite a while ago. All right, on to the next round. JB182 asks, are you the duck master? And I don't think it would be correct to say that I control the ducks as much as the ducks control the second channel. And you know what, for the next 
10 vinyls, I'm going to do my best to draw a duck in the corner. And then you have a 5% chance, if you get one of the vinyls, to have gotten a duck. Boy, I am corn. I am corn. <laughs> Savvy Spencer 77 asks, have you ever wanted to leave the Midwest? And uh, no, I think I'm at home in Chicago. I think a big benefit of doing this whole internet thing is that you can live wherever you want and uh, where I want to live is right here in Chicago. Boy, I am corn. <laughs> Maybe if I decide to uh, <laughs> retire at some point down the line. Maybe I'll want to move to Hawaii and uh, hang out with Wax, who will also be done with music at that time, and we'll just hang out at the Tiki Bar for the rest of our lives. The Devin242 also asks about Chicago, asking, have you always lived in the Chicago area, or did you live anywhere else? Um, well, I was actually born in Nashville, Tennessee, but I moved to the Chicago area, Arlington Heights to be exact, um, when I was five, and then I moved to the city proper. Um, if you saw the last video of moving, I moved into 1060 West Addison uh, about, you know, some time ago, and recently moved again, but still, still in the Chicago area. Dan the Beard Guy asks, how does it feel when a fan approaches you and tells you that your work has inspired them to play? Uh, it feels really good. I think one of the coolest parts of being a YouTube musician or just my experience of being a musician in general is having your songs covered by other people or having your songs um, be part of someone else's musical education. Like if one of my songs inspired someone to pick up the guitar again or maybe pick up guitar for the first time, that's really, really rewarding and I think inspires me more to make more stuff than just about anything else. Or maybe number two to just, I really enjoy it. <laughs> you know, uh, inspiration one is just, uh, I really like playing guitar a lot <laughs> and I like making videos. Um, but that aside, uh, seeing that it's affecting other people playing music uh, is, is just really, really inspiring. So keep those cover videos coming. They all go up onto a playlist on my channel and it's my favorite part of the internet. Galaxy Titan asks, the way your life is moving and your career is moving, do you have a focus or goal you are attempting to reach or just continue going with the flow? And does your life feel surreal at times? Uh, well, certainly the last few years um, since I've been doing this full time has definitely felt really surreal. And sometimes I'll find myself uh, I don't know, in a situation where I have to kind of step back a second and think like, oh, I'm going on a trip to promote my signature guitar this is something really special, you know, where it'll kind of hit me. But usually um, it doesn't, I don't know, the, the weight of it doesn't really come all at you at once, if that makes sense. Like a lot of the times when I'm doing things that, uh, you know, when I was a kid, were things that I really dreamed about, like, you know, playing a show for a lot of people or you know, putting out, you know, an album that people want to get, uh, it kind of feels as if I'm, maybe an actor in a show and I'm like playing a musician who has a signature guitar and it's not actually real. And maybe when I'm older, I'll <laughs> feel the weight of how cool that is. Um, just for now, it kind of comes in waves, I guess. Oh, and to answer the first part of the question, I, I guess it's the latter. Um, I don't have any specific like big goals right now other than just continue making the music and videos bigger and better. All right, on to the next round.